Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Today, uh, things are weird. Last time we saw Chiaki and Monami die and then we glitched out for some reason. Then Chiaki was back and, well, now we're going to the restaurant. But before that, let's check out everyone's houses, see what the hell's going on. Should hurry over the restaurant. Everyone should be already waiting there. Okay, never mind. Um, I... Well, there was a comment that was like, hey, you should check out everyone's cottage. And I was like, okay. Okay, never mind. Uh, <laughs> sure. Guide... Guide you fate of the Togami Clan 2389. Ah, that's normal. That's perfectly normal. Like Maru? Shit! Do it! <laughs> and you know, this one's just gonna be like ho 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 ho. Yeah, I can't believe you actually left the will. Fine, I'll make sure to listen to your last words. That was actually surprisingly normal. Gundam style? Oh my god, I forgot you actually existed, Tomagachi guy. Sure, uh I mean yeah. Give you some water. You know what? I'll do this later. Or, yeah, I'll do this now. Alright, full hearts. Tremble with fear. I will die to... Ice? I will die twice? Okay. What does that mean? And then Terror Terror. Uh, ma Mama? What happened to Hanamura dying? Oh, Okay. Let's check out some of the ladies. Chiaki. Up, down, down, left, right, left, right. A, B, start. Sorry, guys. Don't lose. Oh, Yeah, I was getting kind of... I was mad. I was actually mad last episode. And, like, I know... <laughs> Forgive me, love. Forgive me. Oh. Okay. Let's look at that real fast. That's different. That is different. Yeah. Okay. As I was saying, I, I I got angry last time, like legitimately, like angry by the way they were. Because <laughs> I was I was I was looking at it from a real world perspective, right? Um, and I like I knew I even said it a few times, like we're we're playing by freaking Monokuma's rules. I get it, but it doesn't make sense to me, right? So, and it was just irritating me. I was, I was taking it too close to, like, heart, right? And I think it's because I knew that one of the characters that I actually, like, like a lot was gonna die. I wasn't, I wasn't really sure it was, it was Chiaki until they started bringing up the, the traitor. Um, I kind of thought it was gonna be Akane because she kicked open the door. But, yeah, I think at that point my mind was just like, nope, we're gonna get mad and gonna start <laughs> being aggravated. Uh, Mr. Mr. Ant Squish. Uh, Mahiru. But yeah, I should probably check out the other rooms, too. I guess that all the normal ones are just gonna say I should hurry over to the restaurant, right? But anyways, the reason I was saying that is, if we check on Mikans here, this is not glitchy distortion, right? This is darkness. Which is fitting, given how she, well, became. Uh, towards, like, the end of her trial, or actually before the trial, from the, the Despair Disease. Justice? <laughs> what? Tool? Question mark. Young Master? Young Master. Oh, Young Master Tool. And there's Sonya, I'm gonna say, it's just gonna say the same thing. Should hurry over, yeah. And Mahiru... Oh, 
want to make amends. Say cheese. Smile. Lever? You? You? I don't know. It's it's yellow gold, so that usually means it's important, right? Yahoo! Please listen to one song. Aw, I like Ibuki. I like I like Mikan too, even though she became well insane. I like a lot of these characters. Actually, for the most part, I mean, I really we didn't really get to know Teru Teru and Byakuya that. Well, this, the imposter dude, uh, I mean, I like him better than the original Bayakia, but, um, you can tell by the fact that I'm calling him by name. Um, we didn't get to know them too personally. Well, a lot of the other characters, the same with kind of Mahiru as well. Though, well, not even that. She, we knew her enough, I guess, but... I guess I mean, probably would have had a better attachment to her if we hung out with her in her free time. Like, I, I, I like Pekko as well. Just with her way she held herself and her, her attitude. Until until she, until she went to, like, I'm just a tool kind of, like, robotic type responses. Um, I mean, Nagito, I, like, I get it. I, I do get it. I don't, I don't really like fanatics and zealots and those that, like, will do horrible things saying that it's for the, the good intention type deal. Those, those type of people... Just never mesh well with me. It's like the pure assholes and the ones that will harm others and screw everyone over to obtain a goal, even if it is something that might be good. Also, this place isn't destroyed. Laptop. Yeah. Hey, you're late. Is it true? Nikita really left another message? <laughs> Kneel before Miss Sonia and thank her. She was the one that found it. <laughs> I was walking... I was going for a walk with Gundam's hamsters, and I found it when I stopped by the factory. Listen well. Hmm. A coincidence, you say? Wrong. That is the will of ca casualty guiding you. Huh? Uh, why would Miss Sonia be going, uh, going for a walk with Gundam? I, I never allowed that. Damn right. So anyways, let's hurry up and play it. Yeah, you're right. Huh, I wonder who's watching this message. Is it the traitor from the Future Foundation? If so, congratulations! Looks like it ended the way I hoped it would. Ended the way he hoped it would. Damn it. Anita was trying to kill everyone except the traitor. Damn it. It was just as Monokuma said. Hey, hey. So, uh, he really set up the traitor as the killer and even tried to make them survive the trial? But why would he do that? <laughs> Enough of your uh, enough of your useless talk. It appears there's still more. But if everyone but the traitor is watching this video, then unfortunately I guess I lost. The outcome is the complete opposite of the hope I believed in. Well, not that it matters for me anyways. I mean, no matter what the outcome is, it doesn't matter for a dropout like me. Now then. Now then, let's put this meaning meaningless introduction aside and get down to business. Since I don't know who I'm talking to, I'm going to speak so that both sides will understand. First of all, you might be wondering why I did what I did. Well, I just took action against talking about it after talking about it for so long. The special prize for the final dead room allowed me to learn a certain truth. It would be troublesome if everyone found out, so I already disposed of that page. But anyway, I was totally surprised, I mean... Ying Joit something. The Future Foundation trader must have known that truth all along. And so I was able to learn the truth about this world and resolve to take action immediately. So this isn't okay. I shouldn't have made I shouldn't have made fun of Hajime. Deep down I always wanted to become a protagonist myself. <laughs> Check the web for details. But now that I know the truth, as I look back on Monokuma's actions, I'm starting to see what he's planning. By giving us some information about the island's mystery and the future foundation, he's raising all of our hopes. But only so that he can lead you to unimaginable despair. <laughs> Plus, Monokuma's trying to show that, uh, that despair to someone. 
Perhaps that someone is... Seriously pissing me off. Helen... Ice leaves something... Odd like this is only... This is only... Something so happy... It's... So happy. Jeez, what a hopeless truth! Who is Monokuma's true identity? And how could they come up with a plan like that? But that is enough reflecting on the past. Let's talk about the future now! If you want to escape Monokuma's plan, there's a specific place you need to go to. The key to entering the place is that message you found at Nizumi Castle. So, so 11037? Well, Normally you need to follow a bunch of steps to enter that place, but since the message got rid of those steps, you... Can think of it as an Easter egg or something. It was probably left by someone other than Monokuma or Monami. But that was. that has nothing to do with me. Uh, you guys. still think you're not gonna die or something. St uh, w stop it, stop it, don't stop. I had to hide this until my plan came to the end, but I guess now's a nice time to announce it, right? So then I'll announce the password. 11037, okay. I mean, what? It was the numbers that I saw that were clearly scratched out and illegible? You don't say. Yeah, I don't know. I... It wasn't very well hidden. At least the first time we saw it, it wasn't very well hidden. Hidden, huh? Uh, hidden. I mean, the second times and the concurring times afterwards, they, they did a better job plotting out those numbers. But... The first time... And there was some... There was a couple of comments that were like, Oh, you, wow, you got that fast. I, I didn't know it was supposed to be hidden the first time. It just... <laughs> it looked like someone did a poor job scratching it out. That's is the password that was written in New Zim Castle. You have to use that to enter the specific place. That's the only way you can escape Monokuma. I feel like I've been talking forever, but that's all for me. With this, my duty is finished. I believe my actions will become the foundation of the world's hope. And if that really happens, praise me. Tell the others what I've accomplished. Erect a bronze statue of me. Respect me. Please call me the ultimate hope. Nah. Dots. That was Nikita's final message. Um, um that 11037 number that Nikito said was the password. Uh. Oh, there's no mistaking it. That's the password to enter the ancient ruins. Hey. You better hurry. I mean, I think. Let's go to the co countdown uh, before the countdown reaches zero. You're right. Let's go. Are any of you guys seeing this? Because I've already kind of concluded with his reaction to Yet Chiaki that Hajime has no idea what's really going on here. But do you guys see this? You said you were walking with Gundam's hamster and then Gundam showed up, but you didn't react to it. Now then, let's make haste to the ancient ruins. As long as we work together, we'll not lose to Monokuma or anyone else. Damn right. It looks like the others have left already. We should go too. <laughs> what are you scared now? So you do know. Well, you don't know, but you do see them. Of course not. Let's crush Monokuma's plans. You're right. You're, there's nothing to worry about since everyone's here. We're not alone, we're always together, you know. Alright, All right, looks like it's finally my turn. I'll punch Monokim so hard he'll go flying around the world. As long as Coach Nakamura and me are here, we won't lose. Just leave it to me. Oh, right, Kazuichi, you said she was walking with Gundam. So you guys have been... I, I, I totally forgot that part. That bastard Nagito, he's was screwed up until the very end. What was that praise me crap? Of course After all the crap you put us through, there's no way we'd ever do that. 
Oh, wait, I didn't, I didn't mean to talk to you again, Sonya. I mean, I'll talk to you anytime, but I want to check the laptop. To go to the trouble of hearing something like this, like, you know, was unpredictable until the very end. So. Yeah. That's about right. Now's not the time to relax. I need to hurry to the ancient ruins on the second island. Oh, hi. Yeah. This is not the ruins. Huh. All right, well. Can I check out the map? They're still marked as dead here. Anything special here? Nope, dead. So we still went through a class trial in their minds, right? Against the traitor. But... Huh. Well, things are back to normal. Um. Somehow it's quite nerve-wracking. Yeah. Is it really safe to go inside? What's gonna be in there? You are a boy, right? It's so unreliable to be freaked out like that. You're a man, aren't you? No. <laughs> there's, there's also the countdown. There's no time to stand around. I'm gonna do it. Damn right. This is our last chance to get inside. <laughs> um, I'm starting to feel nauseous from the thrills, the chills, and the kills. Thanks. If you're gonna let it out, why not do it in the Tupperware I keep with me? Dude. Right. I have a certain respect for the pervy character joke. There's some... There's some overbearing sometimes. Dumbass. Hey, now's not the time to fuck around. Master for you. It's going to be alright. You don't have to worry, I will protect my young master. Now then, let's go forward together. <laughs> what the hell, sure don't treat me like a kid. This is your leader's order. We're really in the hope that lies beyond this point. That is your leader's orders. <laughs> oink, 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 oink! What? What was that? <laughs> I told you that she... she, she <laughs> I told you you can only understand Piggy Talk. <laughs> I said you're so cool, Piggy, in Piggy Talk. In the name of my family. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> the password, please. Yeah, I know. One one zero three seven, right? It's gonna be fine. There's no need to, for you to worry. The only thing beyond that point is a shining future. Now then, let's open the door to the future. Beyond this door, the future is waiting. A sparkling future, like sparkling justice. Now then, let's move forward. It's a lot of darkness there. It's the trial room. Dots. Is this a trial ground? Looks like it. Less flashy. But why am I at a trial ground? It sure looks like a trial ground, but the vibe is way different than the one from before. Um, by the way... Huh? Um, where did everyone... Go. Oh, they've been dead, Sonya. Hmm? Everyone? What? Something's wrong. What did I do? No, that's not it. I'm not the weird one. That's what I tell myself every day, Hajime. Relatable. What's really weird is... <laughs> the world falling apart. This world? Oh. The art style's very different in this cutscene. It's actually like a 3D rendered cutscene.
stage clear? Question mark? Smile at hope in the name of the spear end. Oh, right, that was the name of the chapter. Okay. Abandon all hope! Oh, we got our backpack. <laughs> um, I mean, I sh sure, I'll save for now, but um, we're gonna go a little chapter zero. Heading to the school trip. Heading to the school trip. It would be wrong to say it was swaying from side to side. It was actually shaking rather intensely. The room I was, I was in and it was shaking from side to side. The shaking was quite irregular. Just when you thought it was a series of small shakes, it would suddenly shake violently. And then every time that happened, I'd be I'd have to steady myself with a foot. I couldn't stand up very well, but for me, it was comforting. I never thought not knowing what to expect could be so fun, so I was feeling rather excited. But I figured I'd get bored of that feeling soon enough. That's what I was expecting. For me, a person who is loved by talent. A person who is loved by talent. Detecting regularities among irregularities won't be that difficult. Huh, <laughs> how boring. Hi. Do you like ships? On the other side of the dark room, I heard a voice. It was clearly directed at me. <laughs> you looked like you were having fun, so that's what I assumed. Do you like ships? You do like ships, right? Ships. Ah, that's right. That's it. So this is a ship. <laughs> you just realize that now? Is it really that funny? <laughs> if you want, can to talk a little? The silence was starting to bore me. Instantly, I saw his true character. The over-familiar attitude, the friendly smile. But underneath that skin, that thin skin, I could detect a fool, an offensive, a foul offensive odor, like some kind of putrid slime. In a sensible way, of course. How should I put it? It was a smell exclusive of those who were already finished. Nice to meet you. I'm Nagito. Anyway, lucky me. It's been a while since anyone was willing to talk to me, so to share a room with a person like that... Yep, I'm definitely lucky. Lucky? Oh, so that's your talent, then. What a boring talent. <laughs> boring talent, huh? Well, that's exactly what it is. But for someone like someone I'm meeting for the first time to say that so suddenly... That's because I have luck as well. Huh? Even I possess a talent as boring as luck. Possess, huh? I'm starting to get really interested. Who are you? You're obviously from Hope Speak Academy too, right? So you're one of us. But that's weird. This is the first time I've ever seen you. Hey, can you tell me why you're here? How did you end up here? I'm boring. Uh, sorry. I'm often told I'm terrible at making conversation. Not you. This world. Huh? This world is full of boring people. Yeah. People who lack talent stick together and oppress those who possess talent. Even though they know they are insignificant and they don't try to acknowledge their true superiors, they are profoundly desperate to drag them down to their level. And because of these bastards, this world has become a uh, come to a deadlock. This world has stopped evolving. How boring. Well, the world is shaped by the will of the majority. It makes sense that they bend it to those who lack talent. That's why we're in the present situation. Ah, uh, perhaps. Does that have anything to do with the reason you're here? Boring people make no contributions to the world. Not even a speck of dust. That's why my teachers taught me that a certain degree of selection must be performed. Looks like they had high expectations for you, huh? That's completely different from me. But what are you planning to do? Now that you're, you've ended up like this, there's nothing you can do, right? Listen well. Using people is a talent, too. It is now my turn to use that person just as they used me in the past. That person? Are you talking about the ultimate despair? But how? I mean, they're already... I have it with me. Contribution that person left to me. Even now, it rests in my pocket. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm definitely lucky. I can't believe I'm speaking with someone as amazing as you. Yo, dog. Where'd you get your nails done? 
You didn't have nails like that on, uh... On yourself throughout the game, right? I feel like I would have asked you where your nails were done before. And where, like, if we can get matching colors. Then, well, I'll be able to see her. Will I be able to see her again? Will I be able to see the person I hate with every fiber of my being again? And this time, will I be able to kill her this time? The person I hate so much? Hate. Then explain your hand. Ah, uh, this? The end of the bandage. Is a woman's hand, right? Okay. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I can't move it, of course. I mean, it's not my real hand after all. But even now, it still hasn't rotten. Hey, maybe that means it's becoming one with me. Isn't it amazing? I have successfully become one with ultimate despair, my sworn enemy. Is that Junko's hand? Where'd you get that? I see, so you salvaged the body. You really are a boring person. I don't want you to misunderstand. I just see her as my enemy, you know? Because she's my sworn enemy, because I hate her so much, that's why I took her power, and for that I... Wait, huh? Do I hate her? Huh, that's strange. Huh? <laughs> oh, look out the window, we're finally here! You're starting to see it too, right? That's Jabberwock Island, isn't it? Isn't it exciting? I wonder what's going to happen on that island once we get there. What's going to happen? I can already predict that what will happen. Huh? I already know because I love I am loved by my, my by talent. But no matter what happens, it is no concern to me. I will not be able to participate in what lies ahead. Huh, really? I really don't understand, but I guess we have to part ways for a while. That's disappointing. We seem to be getting along pretty well. Hey, can I see you again? There is no reason we'll ever meet again. After all, you're boring. Your talent, your thoughts, your entire existence is boring to me. You really don't play along, do you? Okay. Huh. What is this? It's a door. There's a door. Huh, a door? Why is a door here? Where am I? How did I get here? Where am I supposed to go? Reminds me of an old school, uh, like puzzle 3D game. Uh, oh, hi. Dots. Huh. Isn't this a classroom? But even so, it's a very strange classroom. Why am I in a place like this? I went inside the ancient ruin with everyone else. And I arrived at a place that looked like a trial ground, but then... It's not connecting. I don't know why I'm here. It's like there's no connection between how I left the trial ground and how I ended up here. It's just like before. When we are we were all gathered at the classroom, just before we arrived at Jabberwock Island. But where is this place? Is there somewhere on is this somewhere on Jabberwock Island? Ding dong bing bong. How old school. Ahem, ahem, testing, testing. Mic check one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. Welcome to Hope Speak Academy, you guys. At this point, I shall explain the graduation exam to you all. So please assemble at the gymnasium immediately. Okay. Huh. Do you say what I think he just said? Yeah, he definitely said it. He said, welcome to Hope Speak Academy. But... Why would this place be Hope Speak Academy? And not just that, what is the graduation exam? Isn't the killing over already?
Oh. Hi? No. Okay. Well, okay, I get 999 coins. I guess you should buy stuff. But I guess there's more plushies to find. Um. Okay. So I think I, I understand a little bit what's going on here. Um, kind of. Well, I do. You know, I think we'll just uh, we'll wait until we get a little bit more into what's going on before I start explaining my what I think. That's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you have my videos, I can check out some of the content. See if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.